Come on over, Seda. Hiya. <laughs> Just get this on you here. There we are. So how you doing, lovely? Yeah, fine, thanks. How are you? Oh, doing away, hon. So, just the usual to do, no. yeah? No, uh, no toner. Uh, just a trim, please. Oh, if you're sure, your your colour really could do a wee refresh. Why would you want to get your hair done? Are you trying to look pretty for other guys? Sarah? Sorry, uh, no. No, I, I'm thinking about growing it out, actually. Maybe go back to my natural colour. Okay, well, if you're sure. <laughs> So, um, you and the fell off anywhere nice this year? I'm not sure. He's um, booked to go away with the boys for a week, so uh, depends if he can get more time off. <laughs> Bloody cheek! You should be going away with the girls. <laughs> yeah, maybe. You think you're going anywhere without me? Keep dreaming. Well, um, me and James are off to Tenerife. <laughs> booked this beautiful... Um, a, a, a beautiful four-star hotel, all-inclusive. <laughs> Sounds great. Really great. <laughs> we know it can be hard to ask. Where the hell are you? To speculate on someone's private life. Let me see your phone, slag. To make assumptions. You are worthless. Hard to jump to conclusions. You deserve this. You know that, don't you? We get that's hard, but you know what's harder? Domestic abuse isn't always easy to spot. And it can be even harder to talk about. It's not always bruises, cuts and cracked teeth. It's verbal, emotional, sexual, financial. It's about control and degrading someone's self-worth. And sometimes it's others you love who get hurt. As professionals, we're in a unique position to be able to spot the signs of domestic abuse. By asking questions and offering support, we can provide a lifeline. Before the person or situation reaches crisis point. We know it can be hard to ask when you're busy and unsure of what to do. But there is a way to reach out and offer help. AVDR is a simple and effective tool when dealing with suspected domestic abuse. Firstly, ask. Do it sensitively. They may not be ready to talk, but let them know that you're there. Then, validate. Remove blame. Assure them that you believe them and that no matter what has happened, they don't deserve it. Document. Depending on your role within your organization, you may need to document these details down. Be accurate, using their words, not your own. Describe any injuries in as much detail as possible. Finally, refer. Refer or signpost the appropriate services. For instance, Scottish Women's Aid. Even if someone denies abuse is happening, they may think about your conversation and take action later. Domestic abuse is real and it's happening. It happened yesterday, it's happening today, and it will happen tomorrow. Everyone's in a position to spot the signs of domestic abuse. If you think someone is experiencing domestic abuse, reach out. Are you okay? And if they're not, ask them to call the Scottish Domestic Abuse Helpline. If you don't ask, who will?